Members of the Joint Assembly will please rise to receive His Excellency, the Governor of South Carolina and his distinguished party. The Governor comes in. He's followed by Senator Spotlazingo of Darlington, Earl Morris of Pickens County, and a delegation of four members of the House of Representatives. The Governor shaking hands as he approaches the rostrum. Now shaking hands with Inez Watson, the clerk of the house. And with Speaker Block. Lieutenant Governor John West, who will introduce the governor. Members of the Joint Assembly will be seated. It's my pleasure to present to you His Excellency, Governor of South Carolina, the Honorable Robert E. McNair. Mr. President, Mr. Speaker, members of the Joint Assembly, and my fellow South Carolinians. As a state, South Carolina continues to enjoy the benefits of progress. As a people, South Carolinians are becoming greater shareholders in the fruits of this progress. We are living in a dynamic state, in a dynamic time. We have come a long way, and the challenges ahead serve as an even greater stimulus for continuing our surge forward. South Carolina is today in the midst of the great mid-20th century transformation shifting from a rural to an urban state, from agriculture to industry, the economy is in serious transition. Prior to the 1960s, our overall economy was at a standstill, then following concentrated efforts toward attracting new and expanded industrial investments, the state gained this unprecedented forward momentum of growth. However, in the last year, that momentum slowed down, a clear reflection of business indecision and a national readjustment, and an indication that the present South Carolina economy is vulnerable to the ups and downs of the national economy. How well our state performs in the future depends ultimately on the rate at which the national economy continues to expand. The change that is required is from growth by momentum to development by decision. We must concern ourselves with the many challenges that will bring continuing healthy, balanced growth, both short-term and long-term, by use of our resources in a workable plan of basic investment in people, in program, and in plan. With 1968, just a little over a week old, and with the beginning of a new legislative session, there is great enthusiasm and resolution among all people. And it is my hope that we will carry these feelings into all our deliberations as we strive to better serve the people who elected us to these positions of responsibility. 